Davey, another late show here in West Lothian, another big three points. Yeah, I thought um, we actually started the game no bad, when I, mean, I say no bad, the first five minutes. And we kind of came off the game a wee bit, gave them a wee bit too much of the ball, too much possession to get their goal. And then we come back into the game. And I felt, I thought Rave were pretty decent, probably the first 30 minutes. And then we got better in the press, um, started building the game a wee bit more. And I thought we came in at half time, slightly shaded it other than the goal. I thought the second half we started really, really well. Um, I think there's a section up there giving me dogs abuse for knots at right back, but if it wasn't right back, the guy doesn't get sent off. So there's a positive there. Um, and he scored the winner. He scored the winner for centre back, to be fair. So somebody could say, see what happens when you put him at centre back. <laughs> Um, there was a rationale and a reasoning behind it also, right? Um, but Notch goes in, playing it right back at a point, puts his foot in there. I think there's many folk put their foot in there to take the tackle, which gets the boy sent off. And I think for the sending off, we really capitalised on the numerical advantage. Um, so on the sending off, Davey, how does that change your game plan? They are sending off, sorry. So 11 versus 10 in favour of us. At 1 0, I was putting two strikers on the park. Because Andy May was getting warmed up, and every time Andy May gets warmed up, Stevie May gets quicker. <laughs> That's just typical. I, I used to do it. If I seen somebody in my position, I'd try harder. <laughs> um, so we're putting two strikers on, but I think Stevie automatically thought that Stevie was coming off. Stevie was struggling a wee bit with blisters, like bad blisters. Um, thought it's one now. We'll go to we'll go to two two strikers up top. Andy, Andy um, up top, and Shinny off the side. Um, then Big Teddy jumps off and he attacked a seat. Um, deal with that tomorrow. Um, Liam Soul came on though. Liam Soul came on, so does he. Well. Nothing was really changing at that point. And Shin, um, sorry. He nearly is that. He still want to make himself. He still want to make himself. I was like, come on, we'll go for it. We'll go and try and win the game. So I thought it was quite brave at one each because we could have probably stayed at one each in a similar type of shape. Made it and bringing wee pats off. We pats as as soon as we go down to ten men. I'm going, oh, no, what if I took pats off? <laughs> um, but aye. So I thought the subs were quite brave with the coaching staff. And Andy goes on, and so we're trying to win the game. We get the, the goal. And then we're unlucky with the one that's offside. Yep. Again, Clarky good finish, but I thought we had a couple of really good opportunities in terms of in the box, just maybe know that final, the final touch, at least to the shot. I think Stephen Kelly had one outside, I think Clarky had one at the back post. Just a wee bit better with your first touch, probably sets you up for the second one. Um, I thought Liam Soul really helped the game. I thought um, two wingers a day. I thought they were playing back quite a bit. Yep. Um, so bringing Liam on gave us that wee bit more directness in terms of getting at his man. That really gave us an out ball and he put some fantastic balls in. Get it back one each and then still make subs, still make substitutions. So bring Shins on, which I would class as quite an attacking substitution. Reese has been working really, really hard in training. I think he deserved an opportunity today. He played in the reserve game on Tuesday. And I kind of in my heart, you know, there's some players that have maybe not had the opportunities other players have had for, for a variety of reasons. Um, Reese is maybe one he falls into that camp. It's took us a wee bit of time to get his body fats to where we need them. He's now there. Um, done really well in the reserve game on Tuesday. Reese comes on. And then Shins plays off the left. And it was Shins that actually, it's a great wee passage. He played it, drops to Shins, similar to the Airdrie game. Yep. And similar to the one he had at Dunfermline here. Can you remember that one? Early yeah. doors in yeah. that game. Shins comes in his right foot, and there's probably no many players you'd want that to fall to, other than Andrew Shinney. Um, he thinks he should have started it a wee bit more outside the uh, keeper's left post, but I thought it was a decent save, but it was a great connection. And the one thing generally you can guarantee with Shins, I know Dunfermline one never, but he generally hits target, he generally works the keeper, and that just comes for years of being. Just so years of experience and nice. playing at the levels he has. <coughs> Gets us a corner and then Big Notch comes up with the winger, so uh, the winner at the the end. Great ball with Reese. Thought it's a great ball with Reese. Notch jumps off the back of Hanlon and I thought it's a fantastic header. And I, I think we deserve to win the game if I'm honest. Jerome came up with a double save. 
double save at one each. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. Maybe was it two one at that point? One each. I, think it was one each. Oh, I was I was gone at that point. <laughs> um, one each. Jerome comes out. Of Made a very good save early in the first half as well, didn't he? Right. What one? Uh, down to his right. I thought it was bog standard. Expected him to save it. But the second, was it the second save of the double save where it, and it goes wide? He gets up and he goes and chases it. I think a lot of keepers would have probably retreated onto their line. And then you're dealing with the next ball in your box. And at that point, it's a wee bit chaotic because it's came for one and two, three phases. Everybody's in their own positions. I thought Jerome was very good. He helped us build the game again. I thought he's been brilliant for us. So I'd like to win the game a wee bit easier. Um, it's becoming a bit of a habit these kind of late goals isn't it do you know think that's what you need to do you know I think that's what the top teams do they keep going now I can take a bit of credit staff can take a bit of credit we've got to have a lot of credit to the changing room the players ground that out they ground they ground it was relentless never started well a couple of minutes were alright but never really started the game well go a goal behind and the boys came back and dug it out and was it 10v10 when we get the winner? I think it was, wasn't it? Um, 10v10 when we got the winner. So you've not really even used that numerical advantage at that point. I don't think it's a sending off for us. I think we've got plenty of cover. Boys in the halfway line, three, four yards inside our half. He's took his touch wide. We had pressure for behind the ball and pressure for the side of the ball. Um, so I don't think it's a sending off in all honesty. I think it's too deep for that to be deemed the sending off. He wasn't clean through and goal. Um, and we had three players. Arguably, you could say one. One's definitely on the cover, but you could argue two's on the cover. Um, so, nah, I think the players have got to take huge credit. But I would, I would like to win games a wee bit easier. <laughs> but is free? Do you really care? No, absolutely three not. Points, it's three points. We're still unbeaten. Those um, are the positives that we look forward. To. Do you not think you can see the character in the players? I think it'd been easy there to slow the game right down at one or one each and just. I thought they kept going, they kept going. At one point, see for this ending off, Notch is actually in the wrong position. I'm screaming at him because he's trying to go and win the game at one each. He Was it one each at the centre? Yeah, it was. He's got to try and win. He's standing in the second striker space because I went to Andy Winters and Stevie May, but Notch is up there because he's passion and enthusiasm to go and try and win the game for us. But he left us a wee bit short and Danny was left in the 1v1 in terms of any counters, so I was shouting at Notch to get back into his shape. But listen, Gouser goes and picks up a yellow card, that probably made that decision a wee bit easier. I thought Jamie's energy and legs wide right with Liam really, really helped us. I thought Jamie Brandon was outstanding today. Now the boys have all got to take credit, but certain players, but I thought Jamie, in terms of when we... On the turnover side of the game, I thought he was brilliant. Yeah. And that's what you're looking for, your six. He looked after the ball, he made generally 90% of the right choices a day on the ball. But I thought his de decision making off the ball and his positioning off the ball was first class. Both goals coming from set pieces, obviously, as well, which must be pleasing. Right. Something slightly different right. for us. Um, yeah, well, it's something that I think you look at the top teams all over Europe. You generally go and look at Arsenal. Arsenal, I think, are one of the top teams. The amount of set plays they score, delivery and aggression. You can talk about set piece coaches, but see if you've not got the delivery and see if you've not got the endeavour to go and stick your head in the end date, you're going to struggle. So, I was actually, so Jamie, we were walking through the set plays yesterday. Set plays four, corners four, I kind of let Chipper deal with that. Neil will deal with a lot of the diff corners against. And we kind of break it down, so we work in individual units when we all come together. So I was standing with Pitts and Jamie, as Chipper was walking through the set-piece routine, and I said to Jamie and Pitts, I said, be brilliant to score a set-play tomorrow, wouldn't it? Because it's just, as a passes you play, you can't really work on You can sit out there and hit 40 corners, and then come a game day, put it out of the bar. Like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's, one of the ones, so, nah, I'm absolutely delighted, uh, two cent and a half, one is the game again, coming in, driving into work, everything's going through your head, you're going to hope Stevie May can come up with a couple of goals, but there's goals throughout the team, yeah. like I think Clarkie's chipped in, yeah. there's goals, and then you look at today, you had your two centre backs at that point in time, your two centre backs chip in uh, two goals, uh, when you get you the three points, and come the end of the year, Nobody will really remember how you got the three points, just absolutely delighted we did get the three points. Absolutely. We'll just touch quickly on that, Danny Wilson sending off. Obviously, it might have changed the game at that kind of stage, but it seemed soft from our kind of angle. Is it something that the club will maybe look to appeal? Um, 
and watch it back a few times and maybe. I think if you've got VAR, you get away with it maybe, but I think in real time the referee's got a big decision to make. I think it's a howler. I don't think it's a bad. I don't think it's a howler. I don't think he's made a sh- terrible decision. I think he's. I think he's got the decision wrong, yeah. but I can kind of see his rationale. Yeah. I from an official's perspective and take my emotion out of it. Um, I don't agree with it, but I don't think it's one way appeal, if I'm honest. Yeah. Uh, and just finally, Davey, Dunfermline, Tuesday. Quick, yeah. quick turnaround again. Um, nice. Short journey to Fife. Take one game at a time and see what it takes us there. That's us back into the next run of fixtures, and I think first two games. Four points, am I right? Dunfermline, Queen's Park, is that right? Yeah. What well, was that, Dunfermline and Queen's Park? 2-0 victory right? and then we played Queen's on a Friday night, ah, one each. So four points, so we're sitting in three on this batch of fixtures, so can we better it? Yeah. Can we better it? But I think um, Dunfermline, I, I don't think their league position is really, really where they should be, but I think you could probably say that for a lot of the teams in this league. I think every game is going to be a difficult game of football and it's you're not always going to win them. And they're not always going to fall the way you expect them to fall. You can't just go and dominate the ball. There's different facets to that, different variables that affect the game. And all I can really do is compliment the players because they found a way to win that game today and I thought they were terrific. No worries. Thanks for your time, Davey. Enjoy your Saturday. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.